What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Today I'm doing a collections video. Placed in order from least valuable to most valuable. I recently partnered up with a company called Snups. This is the app right here. Okay. I'm just gonna pop that open for you. Snups is perfect for collectors. It's very helpful for, for collectors. Um, so this is my profile right here and you can organize your collection in shelves, all right? Basically, these are virtual shelves where you would take a picture of an item on your collection and post them in the various shelves that you have. I have a Scotch shelf, a bourbon shelf, a Canadian whiskey shelf, and a world whiskey shelf. I also have a featured group on my channel, and this is where you guys come in. I would like to invite all of you guys, all viewers, to join my featured group, Whiskey in the Six. Okay? Um, you can download the app for free on iOS or Android. You can also use the website, which is just basically on your computer, and the reason why I think Snups is so helpful is because for a guy like me, this collection can't stay on my desk. I mainly keep all my collection in a closet somewhere. And I'm able to share my collection with you guys using the virtual shelves on Snups. Um, and there's all kinds of really cool features on Snups as well. The group allows us to have discussions about various moments posted on each friend's profile. So we, you join, we become friends, and I'm able to see some of the moments that you wanna share. And you can also keep the, these things private to yourself, both the shelves and the moments. Um, you can share them publicly or keep them private. S Snups is designed for the collector at heart, okay? Like, I collect whiskey, but I also collect books. If you're into books, there's a featured app called Cover to Cover. You might want to check that one out. If you're into watches, there's a group called The Watch Guy. And he posts, or the people in that group anyway, post a whole bunch of pictures just based on watches. Uh, there's a makeup group, there is nail polish, there are all sorts of different groups definitely one designed for you as a collector. I highly recommend you guys download the app. It's super cool, it made my life a lot easier being able to post my pictures and categorize my types of whiskey because I clearly have quite a bit. Um, so I'm gonna invite you guys again. It's called Snups, that's S-N-U-P-P-S. -P -P I wanna show you one more time just to make sure that you guys know what it looks like. That's it in the corner over there just above the NHL symbol, all right? And I'm really enjoying it. I'm gonna really enjoy being partnered with them because it gives me an opportunity to see what you guys have in your collection. And I, I hope um, you guys join, all right? And now I'm gonna continue on to my collection here. So, Weller 12, I got two of these bad boys. They are part of the Buffalo Trace Antique Series Lottery at times. Um, difficult to come by. They have a great secondary market. Was lucky enough to get these at retail just a week ago for about $47 each. Also disappearing from shelves and will be probably very valuable in the next little while. Elijah Craig 12 year old small batch. That one I bought for retail price as well, $47. It's already starting to see a secondary market in the United States because of the lack of availability. Glendronic Cast Strength Batch 4. This is a mix of Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso Sherry. Um, really, really good stuff. This is Batch 4. Batch 4 is limited, just like all the other batches. They're up to Batch 6 now, and you can find very little of the Batch 4, so definitely something you want as a collector. Black Art 4.1. This is 23 years of age. 
There was a limited amount of bottles made of this. It is going rapidly. The bottle is just beautiful, okay? The contents inside, no one really knows what's used to age this whiskey, what types of casks anyway. And that's kind of where the name gets its appeal, it being black magic kind of thing. McAllen, 17 year old. Any McAllen in your bar is collectible. We all know this, if you're a collector, you look for McAllen's to collect. Uh, whether you enjoy the taste or not, I, I really like almost all the McAllen's I've tried. Uh, the 17 year old is a big fan favorite. I'm not the biggest fan of the Fine Oak series, but as a collector, I know the value in this one. Glendronic, 1995, Pedro Jimenez, single punch in. All right, this one is super dark, super sherried, one Pedro Jimenez cask, just a beautiful whiskey. I had an opportunity to review this based through a sample. This is bottle number 532 of 735 total bottles. So just any of these single casks are highly collectible in my opinion. The McAllen 18 year old, this is the last of the vintage type McAllens. It's a 1997, all right. I also reviewed this. You can go back to the archives and check out that review when you get a chance. Super good stuff. Heavily sherried. It's one of the icons in the Scotch market. This one won all sorts of awards. This is the Vino Barrique Solist by Cavallon. Beautiful packaging, beautiful bottle. Comes with a scroll that talks about all the awards that this one won. Um, I also reviewed this one, check the archives, really, really great whiskey. One of my first A pluses, um, I absolutely love this one. This Highland Park 21 year old, I had an opportunity to try with Nicholas Villalon, the ambassador of Highland Park and McAllen. Um, I haven't opened my personal bottle yet because they are running out. They are no longer making the 21 year old. If you like a light peat, in a beautifully sherry whiskey, this is the one for you. I went through an entire bottle of this Glen Goyne 25 year old. It's still mod modestly priced, I guess you can say, at about $400, although that's a lot out of a lot of people's price range. I believe that Glen Goyne 25 year old is gonna skyrocket in price. That's why I had to replace my bottle because it's just beautiful stuff. Cavallon Montelado. This one won Whiskey of the Year last year. It comes in this incredible piano wood box. All right, the bottle looks like that. This one goes for about 500 US dollars in the United States. I acquired this through trade, which I was really happy about. And that's the other good thing about having a collection is that you can always trade some bottles off or use some bottles to supplement for other bottles. I have my Glendronic Grand Gear bottle number 316 of 1180. This is batch number 007, 007, so kind of lucky I think. Uh, bottled at 50.6%, so it's low for a cast strength whiskey. All right, I can't wait to try this one. Definitely gonna wait for a special occasion. The bottle is incredible. One of the nicest bottles I've ever seen in a scotch. That's gonna be coming shortly. I do have two bottles of Highland Park 25 year old at my friend's house. He ordered them for me. They're sitting on his shelf right now. I just was unable to meet up with him for this video. Um, but those are mine. I will present them in my Snups app. And I hope you guys will start uh, posting some, join Snups and post some things too because I think we're gonna have a good time on there. I will periodically be posting a bunch of photos, moments, and uh, items for my shelf in the next, you know, for the next few months. So um, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy me. It's gonna be awesome. It gives us an opportunity to communicate. It gives me a chance to see your collection, which I'm dying to see because you guys have seen enough of mine, but I really wanna see yours, okay? So join Snups, 
go to the iOS um, Apple Store or Apple App Store uh, or the Android App Store and download it. Or like I said, you can join just using the website, Snuffs. Cheers, guys.